welcome back to another video today's video is about boreholes talking about boreholes i want to say a big thanks to cletus and victor who have donated to support the borehole drilling for our off-grid home at ashifla in case you're interested in supporting as well kindly check the description of the video for more details thank you so what is a borehole and how do they work um, from a brief research I did, I discovered that a borehole is basically a narrow and deep hole that is drilled into the ground for various purposes, such as accessing groundwater, oil or gas, among others. Also, boreholes can vary in size and depth depending on their intended use and the type of equipment used for the drilling. Now, as we all know, most boreholes are drilled to provide access to groundwater, which is a essential source of water in many parts of the world, including Ghana. Most people will go in for the option of borehole to be able to stay completely off-grid while not relying on water from you know, the government. While boreholes can serve a lot of great purposes, excessive drilling of it can also have unintended consequences. Now, I am making a video about boreholes because I have become a little concerned about the rate at which boreholes are being drilled in the Asebu Pan-African village. As you can see from this aerial video, at the time of filming, there were about three different borehole drilling machines, drilling boreholes at, you know, well, different locations, not too far from each other. So I decided to look up some of the consequences with having many boreholes at a specific geographical location. And here are some of the results I got. One of the negative effects of drilling numerous boreholes is the depletion of groundwater resources. Although boreholes are drilled to access groundwater, drilling too many boreholes can deplete the aquifer, making it difficult for people to access clean water. This can be a significant problem, especially during times of drought, as the water table can drop drastically, leaving many boreholes dry. Talking about this, it was interesting to note that some people's borehole within the Pan-African village had already cut flowing or doesn't flow so often. And this could be as a result of numerous boreholes that has been drilled. Another negative effect I found had to do with the contamination of groundwater because the drilling process can cause fractures in the earth's crust, which can allow pollutants to you know, seep into the groundwater. Also, excessive drilling of boreholes can also potentially cause sinkholes. While boreholes may not directly cause sinkholes, drilling too many boreholes in a concentrated area can disturb the natural balance of the underground water system, leading to the formation of voids or underground cavities that can eventually cause sinkholes. So what can be done about this? To be able to mitigate some of these negative effects, I suggest that the rate at which boreholes are being drilled in the Pan-African village um, should be controlled. Instead of every household having their own borehole, it may be more beneficial for several homes to share one borehole. This would not only save costs, but also reduce the number of boreholes being drilled. Additionally, proper groundwater management practices should be implemented to reduce the risk of contamination and the depletion of the aquifer, which basically, you know, helps with the provision of water underground. These are a few solutions I came up with. I would also want to hear from you in the comment section about some of the negative effects of excessive drilling of boreholes, as well as what can be done to curb the situation. So that is just about it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. In case you are new to this channel, kindly go ahead and hit on the subscribe button and then don't forget to hit on the bell so that anytime there's a new video, you get to see it. So I'll see you in the next one.